On September 11th, uh, we had just come into work and we had TV, banks of TVs uh, over some of the desks and we looked up and one of the World Trade Centers was on fire. Yeah. And at first everybody thought it was a mistake that a small plane had gone into the building. But as I was looking at the footage, I saw the second plane hit the other tower. And that's when we knew it must be a terrorist attack. So my photo editor sent me out. He wanted me to get reaction here in Boston. And I got in my car and I was driving out of the garage and he called back and he said, both those planes came from Logan, so you need to get to Logan Airport right now. So when I got to the airport, it was pretty chaotic. A lot of people were standing in line and I remember there was a woman standing at the American Airlines desk with her hands on her head, uh, just leaning on the counter. And I took her picture and I talked to her later and it turned out she'd missed that plane. She was supposed to be on it, she and her husband. So they were alive because they missed the plane. And um, then after that I, I was asked to go around Boston and take pictures and the city was empty. Uh, they'd evacuated the Prudential Tower which was 50 some stories high and built the same way as the World Trade Towers, meaning it might have collapsed from the inside if somebody tried to attack it. And then later that night, I started driving down to Manhattan. And I was driving down with all the rescue vehicles that had lights and equipment. Um, it was really eerie. I was by myself, and I had my girlfriend on the phone who lived in Manhattan. And she was telling me what was going on, and I didn't know that the Trade Towers had fallen. And she said, they're gone. And I said, what do you mean they're gone? She said, they're, they're gone. They fell down, which was just unimaginable. So for the next 10 days, I had to cover uh, what was going on in New York City. It's the worst assignment I've ever had. I've been all over the world and covered all kinds of tragedy, but this was right in our backyard. So it was really, really tough. I'd still say probably one of the worst assignments I've ever, definitely one of the worst assignments I've ever had. I never actually made it to Ground Zero itself. I was working around the perimeter because they had it pretty closed off by the time I got there. But I'll never forget the smell of the ash in the air and uh, how much I had to walk. And, but I was so proud of New York and New Yorkers and it made me love that city even more.